Hi, I'm Michelle Dertenak, founder of Unata Aerial Yoga. Now, I know a lot of us nowadays are doing our yoga from home, online or through um, you know, online classes or live streaming or through videotapes due to this uh, coronavirus outbreak. So, what are you going to do if you like doing aerial yoga? Well, guess what? Even if you don't have a hammock in your home, you have options. You may not have a hammock, but maybe you have a bed. Voila. And on top of it, I've got some blankets. Now, um, I'm only using some blankets uh, because my bed is a little bit on the short side. You can kind of see this from here. A lot of people have beds that are higher. So if you have a bed that's higher, you won't need this. But if you, uh, if you have one that's low, like mine, you might want to try it. Now basically, I brought these blankets almost all the way to the very edge. And I'm not going to give you a whole class right now. I just want to give you a little teaser, a little sampler, so that you can see if it's maybe something you'd want to try later. Um, but right now, what I will show you is something where we can really decompress the upper spine. And that's one of the main benefits of doing the aerial yoga, is to uh, be able to get into inverted positions where you don't have any pressure on the head or the neck. So to get into this backwards and upside down position, I'm going to sit myself on the blankets in a placement where when I lie down, my chest is on the very edge. And so my head and neck and shoulders really can hang off of the bed, just like so. If you like this, you can stay here. If you wanna go a little bit more off of the edge, use your feet stepping on either side of your blanket structure there or just onto the bed if you don't have these blankets like I do. And you can use your hands reaching for the floor to make sure that you don't go too far too fast and just inchworm your way until you get to the spot where you like. Now for me, if I wanted to stay here and I didn't really want to have my head on the floor, I could reach through my legs so I keep some of my body weight on that side away from my head and counterbalancing the slipping off. Or I can use my hands pushing down into the floor to counterbalance just to make sure I don't go too far. Um, I'm fine right where I'm at doing this. And uh, very happy, I have to say, allowing myself to decompress the bones of the neck and really even the upper back as well. Not to mention it's a heart opener. Who doesn't need some uh, bravery right now? That's what heart opening is for. So I am here and because I'm going to speed through this a little bit, just so we can end, I'm going to come out of it right away, even though you could stay longer, to come out uh, rather than trying to roll over and off that way, which is maybe a little bit uh, too difficult for some of us. I'm gonna roll over to my side. So I just have to step one foot back onto the bed. Use your hands to help you as you push off that foot to roll over onto your side and all the way over onto the belly. Now, if you're close enough to the edge of the bed, you could, you know, at this point, just sort of walk off the edge. But if you're not so much close, then walk your hands a little closer to the bed. Use your toes to help bring your chest right onto the bed so you can have weight on your chest. Then you can put your hands on either side of your heart and sit yourself on up. So if you thought that looked kind of fun, you want to try a whole class and something along the lines of bed yoga, then come join me. I'm going to create a class, maybe more than one, who knows, we'll see what happens. But you'll find out news about this if you go to either Instagram or to Facebook, Unata Aerial Yoga. We have pages and we have, you know, online stuff, social media, whatever. I'm not the best with that sort of thing, but you got the idea. Go ahead and find us.